Hey, orange one here. So I want to show you how to play the Batanian game, um, board game that they have here. It's pretty cool. I like it. I've not done the best with it. Um, so I wouldn't recommend it if you're just trying to make some money, but I'll show you basically the idea behind it. Now they'll tell you a little bit about it. It's basically an uneven game, but the two sides, it's not really uneven. It's just like it, they play very differently. Um, okay. So let's play. I'm going to be wolves. I've had more luck with wolves than I have with sheep. So they'll go ahead and place their sheep. Um, and then we've got to do some trickery right here. Yeah, they're going to basically try and um, just kind of line up the edges here. Because basically the sheep, if they get jumped over, I take them. And so they're going to try and trap my wolves but I'm not going to let them. So you get all these different things basically set up um, around knowing what you think they're going to try and do. So they're probably going to try and yeah. So what I can do here is if I move there, you're going to try and place something here, which is annoying because there's not much I can do about it, but you can kind of predict the move that they're going to try and make um based off of your move so let's see what could we do with that there's not much that i can really do with it i'm just gonna move there and then yeah they put that there just like i thought they would now what do we want to do here let's see if they make a mistake sometimes they do like silly things like the npcs in this game yeah they do some bizarro moves. Okay, so here's something potentially interesting. If I move you there. Yeah, so here's here's what you want. Because if I move you there, that means you have to put a piece there. But then I can jump said piece. So I'm going to get a piece no matter what. So they're just going to give me that. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. Not going to... Not going to complain so i've got one of i think five pieces that i need so i just need to keep that in mind um also if i move this here i'll be able to jump that and then if i move you here you could jump just right there if i move you there you could jump a couple different places so i'm gonna do that so it's just a matter of lining up as much as you can combo wise which can be a little bit tricky Especially as the board's getting built, you know? So he's probably gonna try and go along the edges. So I'm gonna try and go there first. So let's see, I can go there and I can hop over you. I can go there and hop back and hop back. I think that this is probably one of our better options. Yeah, we're starting to lock out a number of their options. I'm just gonna go back and forth. Okay, so here's where we get some problems. Um, I could go there and it's gonna, again, force you to put uh, one down, which I'm gonna take. Or not. Which I will gladly take that though. So that's two. And then, are you kidding me? You really, sometimes the AI does some really dumb moves like that. It's just like, what, why? Like, seriously, why would you do that? That makes no sense. So if I move here, I know you're going to put one down there. Is there anything else that I can do to give myself some opportunities? I could move you in here, and then you're not going to get locked in. Or I could leave you there to attack. I mean, I kind of want to do that because then I can jump over there. But I can't jump there, so it's kind of pointless. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of weird combos that you could do right here. I'm going to move you here, mostly because I'm not sure where else to move. <laughs> um, oh, actually, this actually gives me a move. Cool. I didn't even see that move. And then it's game over. I've already got the five. So... 
there we go. That's how you win a uh, bag chal. Now there, we got a little bit lucky. It does kind of depend a little bit on exactly where they place their pieces. It really has, this is the most important part of the game is the setup right here. And it's all about kind of just anticipating their moves, you know, and trying to keep the um, pieces that have as many connections to the corners as you can. And then um, once the they're locked in a little bit more, like this, this is perfect. I think that this happened almost exactly like this last time. Now if they place one down there, I can take that one. And if they place one there again, I can, you know, I can just keep on chipping away, essentially. So we just made a ton of cash. Um, or not cash, uh, yeah. If I go there, then, yeah, there's... Why don't you take, uh, let's see. Yeah, there's there's a number of different ways to approach this, but it's essentially, yeah, that was weird. I have no idea why you did that. You just gave me a piece there. I mean, I'll take it. Um, yeah, you just kind of want to apply pressure and force them to place pieces in certain ways. It's essentially my strategy. And set up some odd little combos where it's like, oh, you want to place one there? Sure, go for it. It's I'm just gonna, you know, do what I want here. <laughs> um, yeah, it's all about setting up different things. So if I, yeah, this isn't the best. I kind of messed up there. Yeah, because you're gonna put one there then, right? Yep, just like I expected. So now we've only got a couple other pieces to go. Um, I'm gonna go in here and see what we can kind of limit them with. What if I... Because I, I can probably jump that, is what I'm thinking. Oh, this is perfect. So here, I'm either gonna get this piece or the next. Yeah. See what I mean? And we're already most of the way there. Now we just need one more. It's not that hard to get one more. Um, here, and then you're gonna place one there. I know you will. What if I... Yeah, I'm trying to think too much in advance. And my brain's doing all kinds of weird stuff. Okay, I, I, it's giving me the game. Yeah, so I just won it a second time. Um, so that's essentially how you play it from that side. Um, yeah, I think that I'm pretty good off that though. Um, yeah, so that's how you play Bag Chal. If you've got any other questions or you want me to do a particular board game next, just put it in the comments. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time. This has been Orange One.